Hey guys, so we're back for round two. We have won the die roll, and we would like to play first. This hand is totally fine with me. Once again, playing Swamp Swamp to keep a Freakus Cure, and then Divination. A uh, fairly good hand against pretty much anything, actually, uh, with the second removal spell already in hand. So there's where our temple went. So they may have been the player to our left, or maybe the temple got further around the table. I do not know. Alright, so this may be the other black player I was talking about earlier. We've drawn two lands in a row, how unlucky, and then two business spells. Alright, sweet. So we have our second divination, if we need it. So that card is actually very good. Um, every time I have played against it, I have feared it, as they say. Is there anything we can keep up for one blue or one black? I believe so. We're also going to have to discard this turn, right? Because we play this, we go down to six cards in hand, and then we're going to have to discard. Yeah. Alright. So I guess we'll just keep up a black. Ship the island to the bottom. Keep the emissary on the top. And draw Lash of the Whip. Um. So with Lash and Sip, we can probably get rid of Freakus Cure at this point. We're just going to, I mean, we just want to play Sea Lock. I believe. Or maybe we even want to... Yeah, so maybe we even want to Lash here. Um, actually, I'm okay with this. Like, if he has a trick to get rid of it, then that's fine. It is relevant to know that he is stuck on three mana. So, like, I'm willing to trade with a trick here. Coordinated Assault would be the biggest blowout, I think. Yeah, so Farika's Cure, so two for wanting him there, is definitely not bad for us. We just drop an Emissary, and then we're going to be able to Emissary up the Emissary. And attack for loads of damage. Especially if he has nothing here, Lightning Strike. Alright, so that was a little... That was not the greatest. Um, but we can play Failing Sleeter here, keeping up Lash of the Whip in case he has something. So that is good. Alright. Looks like... So I want to say he's aggressive black-red minotaurs, because that's usually how the decks are. But he is, like, he is on three mana, and he's not doing much. So suppose that says otherwise. Um, I'm happy just to go for bestow here, and keeping up the two to be able to attack. Oh, I have to dec uh I that was terrible guys. Sorry about that. I have to I have to declare earlier than the begin combat step. I have to declare on my main phase. I guess I could declare mid combat, I don't know. Card fine. I'll take one from drawing that card. I will bestow. And activate. Alright, now. Now we can wave our hands in the air like we just don't care. Alright, so I have to show him everything. Um, don't really care what he takes at this point. Like, we're so far ahead that unless he can kill our return phalanx, uh, we're winning. So, that's good. Takes Lash. Fortunately for us. Yep, fortunately for us, we have enough mana to kill Fate Unraveler and attack. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything as big as a 910 when we put the Baleful Idol on, on it next turn. It's going to be able to do anything against us, so. I think we should be okay here. If we draw another creature, he's also just dead to Erebos' Emissary, discard Billful Eidolon, discard creature to be named later. Alright, so he's not just dead to that. So this is just... Oh my god, I did it again. Sorry guys. <laughs> not very good at this game. 
they're not very good at remembering when to do stuff. All right, so let's do this first. And then let's just see if we have him. So discard, discard. Get there? Sweet. Alright, so even though we clicked through a few draw steps, or through combat phases, could have been ended earlier, we still got there. Um, so black, red, we definitely want the dark betrayal, I know. Let's get, to, let's get here first. So we definitely want this dark betrayal. Um, he didn't seem super aggressive, so maybe better than this Farika's Cure. I don't know, Farika's Cure is so good anyways. Got away with that garbage play. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you, sir, I do not appreciate your negativity. All right, so Dark Betrayal is very good here. Hmm. Freakus Cure seems not good, but, like, he could have aggressive stuff. And, like, it is a removal spell. So what do I not want? Sea Lock Monster we'd have to like turn on to get big. Nyxborn Eidolon maybe. Yeah, it may take away the Nyxborn Eidolon. Side on the Dark Betrayal and submit. Alright, that seems it. Alright, see you guys for game two. Alright guys, so we are back here for game two. You got the player on the draw. You're on the draw. And we will not mulligan this. So once again, leading off with a swamp. To keep up Freakus Cure if we happen to draw the next swamp. Alright, no 3 drop for him, that's good. I mean, this is the game we want to play. We just want to wait till we can drop a monster or an arbiter. Magma Jet to Scry, okay. Suppose that is reasonable. Again, nothing. Well, do we want to keep up Grip Tide or do we want to play Servant? If we get Servant going, it's very good. Yeah, I think we want to keep up Griptide into Sea Lock Monster. For nothing. Alright, well, I guess we'll just play Sea Lock Monster here anyways. It can't attack right away. Um, but if we draw Runner Runner on lands, then we'll be able to play Arbiter into it. Perforous Emissary. Perfectly acceptable. Um... So we can, actually, we can actually read the bones here into perhaps a land of some sort. Perfect. We don't need the Triton. We do, however, need the land. So we're happy to play Land Servant. And then next turn we'll be able to, we'll have Arbiter up. And that will be good. Lightning Strike, that's acceptable. So we'll play that, and we'll actually just play the Vortex Elemental um, in case he kills one of our things and we need a second blocker. Um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You can, you can, you can have that. I don't, that's not a big deal to us currently. Um, yeah, we're, so we're actually going to just asphyxiate that straight up. And then, yeah, hopefully hopefully we can start uh, the value train with Arbiter. If he had anything to say about that. No, he did not. All right, that's fine.
Oh, I cannot block. I'm, I'm so silly. Sorry, guys. Um, I'll just bounce it then. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright. So I want to keep Lash up. So we can... Actually, no, we can't bestow and keep Lash up. Can we play it and keep Lash up? Yeah, it's fine. So we can play Baleful Eidolon, attack with Arbiter, and still keep Lash of the Whip up. Alright, that seems like the play. That is fine. We don't even need to lash that. We can actually just cure that. Would like to put return phalanx onto the battlefield. Uh, it's an enchantment in addition to its other types. It's fine. All right, so my motto is if he wasn't dead already, let's get him dead faster. Puts him on the old two turn clock. I guess we should have left the island up to use the vortex if we needed to. Um, but I believe he is pretty dead, anyways. We've got no more sass from our opponent. He's, he's done with the what a jokes. Can't believe I lost your garbage play because I couldn't draw a land. Yeah, I suppose that happens, right? Lash is fine. Um... Okay, so he's not even going to make me discard. Alright, so that is round two. Uh, yeah, I guess there are people who get pretty annoyed on Magic Online. That is one of the downfalls. I mean, the community as a whole is like very strong, very together. Uh, lots of super nice people you meet on here. But, you know, obviously any online game where people can just kind of like go off when they're not winning, you know, it's not the greatest. So we make it to the finals. And we'll see what happens. All right, see you guys back for the final.